Today I will talk about my uh, PhD experience in BSc. So the project started, uh, so the research started with a project from a, a memory uh, giant company from South Korea. And uh, the idea of the project was to, to check the magnetic memory, the new type of memory that we had. Maybe I should move a little bit. <laughs> so um, the, the idea of the project was to check the new type of memory which is called magnetogram for our supercomputers, so a very cool project. And then we started the project with them and we, we asked for uh, the technical details or the, the, the par timing parameters of the project, uh, of the memory, so that we can simulate the, uh, the memory in details for our supercomputers. <clears throat> but interestingly, the, the company uh, could not provide us the details of the timing parameters because, probably because they, they wanted uh, to ha have it safe so that it, it does not get into the other companies' hand and they can take, the, take away the business. So we did not get anything from them uh, in terms of timing parameters or, or information that we can use to simulate this memory. And at that point, it was uh, like a dead end for me because uh, I cannot imagine a number for, for a memory system that is under development. So uh, during my master's in Sweden, I had a course in intellectual property right management, which is basically patents and, and uh, copyrights and so on. I remember that uh, it doesn't matter how uh, secret your technology is, you have to file a patent application for that uh, with, with substantial amount of details uh, in a patent application. So I start digging up the patent applications and I happened to fi find a few patent applications on that memory technology. Uh, and I was trying to analyze those patent applications in order to have a, a connection between the, the memory that we have today and the memory that we're trying to uh, simulate. And I estimated a set of numbers uh, as, a, um, as the timing parameters of this memory. And, um, uh, and but that, that was uh, my own estimation of this, uh, from this patent application that I analyzed. But the problem was that I could not go ahead with these numbers because it's just uh, estimation of a PhD student uh, and uh, it is not, uh, it should, it pro would it probably not be accepted by the community because it's, it's not confirmed by any company or by any manufacturer. So we are looking for some company who could confirm these numbers before we could go on for the simulations and, and analyze it uh, in, in detail. So we contacted uh, a co another company called Everspin. They were actually making these memory chips already and they were shipping the, the, uh, the memory chips. Uh, we contacted them asking that if they are interested in a research collaboration with us so that we can check their memory chips for our supercomputers or, or HPC workloads. And um, they did not reply for almost two months and then um, I was checking on their web, web page and it, it happened that I found a guy who is apparently from my country. I'm from Bangladesh, and he was also from Bangladesh, and it's a small country, so we love each other, right? So, <laughs> so I, I, next time I sent an, another email uh, to the same uh, company, but with reference to that particular guy, saying that, uh, be basically the same uh, email that, would you be interested in a research uh, collaboration with us, and that may open new markets for, for your, your RAM. Right, so, and then we got a reply. Some, some people from the product management team they uh, emailed us and we had the NDA and we, uh, we got the, um, the numbers from them, the timing parameters, we, we conducted the simulations, we had a good research outcome. And then it comes uh, to publish the paper. And when we we're about to publish the paper, these guys said that no, we are not okay, that you publish the numbers that you got from us. And uh, then we are back to square one again. I mean. Uh, because we did all the things and uh, now we cannot publish it because they have, um, they don't want to publish it yet because it's a technology under development and they don't want to uh, spread it out already to, to the other companies. <clears throat> so then I was checking back uh, the email conversations that we had with the company and I figured out that um, I actually sent my estimations, my estimated numbers before they gave me the data. So then we contacted them and asked that, uh, can we go ahead with my numbers that we estimated before the, you gave us the data. And they said, I mean, if you go with your numbers, 
uh, there is no problem for us. And uh, then you have to know how to explain that how did you derive these numbers. And I obviously had that because I already got the numbers from an, an analysis of the patent applications that I previously studied. So then everything went well and we could uh, publish the paper and this paper is still uh, uh, the only paper from academia which has uh, reliable timing parameters for this specific memory kind. And uh, so my message uh, from this talk is to the, the masters and PhD students of BSc that there are basically no dead ends to your PhD. There is only if you think that there is. So that's all and good luck to your masters and PhD and thank you very much. <laughs>